want to be whole, you gotta be broken first. What does this mean? Well, there is literally nothing stronger than someone who has been broken down and had to rebuild themselves. I feel like I am in a broken phase. This is a learning stage. This is a learning new things and unlearning old limiting beliefs that have held me down sort of stage. We had parents who shaped our mind. We had a specific way of living that we were born into and our brains were sponges, they still are. So what did we do? We adopted to everything. We made the certain way of living our way of living. We internalized it. And that is how we have survived. We have a great skill of adaptability. Two people out of 8 billion people are showing you how they live. So the type of way that you're living is a very narrow sort of way. You should be happy that the fact that we are even alive still. Like, thank you parents. Love you. But it's bound to give you some limiting beliefs. These limiting beliefs are based off of fears. The fear of the unknown. The stage that I'm currently going through in life is breaking away from limiting beliefs or at least questioning the limiting beliefs that I grew up with. I'm noticing that I am actually tearing away from a lot of things that I learned when I was a kid. For example, I pursued a degree in something that I thought was going to be the best thing ever because it gave me money, which is a limiting belief that was put on me when I was a kid because we gotta pay bills, we have to survive, duh. And also prestige, a lot of people's parents care about other people's opinions. I finally got to a stage around a year or two years ago where I was like, wait, hold up. Do these things matter to me? Will I allow other people's opinions to dictate my whole life? For a minute there, I was like, hell yeah, I really care what people think of me. I grew up in a society where everyone's really judgy, but it's coming from a fear standpoint. Everyone asks you, what are you doing in school? How much money are you making? What are your plans for life? When I started questioning these things and questioning my values, that shit did not flow with me. I went through a period of breaking away from all of these things that I grew up learning. It felt like the walls around me were falling down. There are moments still here and there where I feel that way. It's kind of scary to leave everything behind, to be able to question and see like, yo, I outgrew this. It took a lot of inner work, a lot of meditation, a lot of therapy. It still is. Don't get me wrong. There is no destination. It is all about the journey. The reason I'm letting you guys know that it's really important to be broken before you rebuild that life is because you shed off these limiting beliefs. Let's talk about some perks of being completely broken. I don't even like to use that word too much, honestly. What I basically mean is when you are breaking away from limiting beliefs and you're in that period of time where you're just kind of confused about everything, you're just spending a lot of time in your head, that period of time is so fucking important because you're free. There's not really been a time in life since you were born that you've been free. There's been expectations put on you from school, from society. Every stage of your life, humanity has somehow made it very clear that there's something you need to achieve in order to be a great civilian, which I don't agree with. I'm free from these expectations of people. My parents are very confused with me right now. Let me tell you, the home dynamic is very interesting. And they're just like confused because they don't know what I'm talking about half the time and they don't 100% relate to what I'm saying. Oh my God, I just got deja vu, woo. Anyways, the best part is that they no longer expect me to be the perfect daughter. It's amazing to break away from that beautiful image. Let me quickly let you guys know on the backstory. I have my masters, I did my education, I worked for a really large company, and I dropped everything. I said no, <laughs> because I've never even once in my life sat down and evaluated if I'm doing what I wanna do. But this is a period I'm doing that, and so many people go through life without ever questioning that. Everything starts up here. It's one decision away. You'll notice that once you make the shifts up here, your reality starts to change because your energy is higher. So you start attracting opportunities that are more aligned to you. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, start listening to podcasts about the subconscious mind or go watch some of my older videos. Science has started to draw the same conclusions that spirituality and monks and Buddhists from like thousands of years ago have already thought of. Being broken is beautiful. It also gives you a lot of time and space to just get away from the world a little bit. It can go two ways, okay? One way is you kind of go crazy and you start to be miserable and you start to let the negative thoughts get into your head. The other way is that whole thing happens as well, but you meditate, you manifest, you think positively. When I start to feel myself sink into a negative state of thinking and like, what's the point of this whole thing? I reel it back and I look 
at everything holistically and I'm like, wait a second, I'm breathing. I am so lucky to even be existing right now. There's a lot of things the broken phase takes you to. No one's actually really broken. I don't like to use the word broken. What I pretty much mean is a person who is not on the same path as everyone else, the unconventional person. I believe that when you spend time to be in this state, you actually find your inner voice. When I found my inner voice, I had literally no option to like go back to not to ignoring it for the rest of my life. Like it wasn't a thing because it's an internal gift that you've been, we've all been given from like the divine creator. It's called intuition. Don't sleep on them. When you're in the broken phase, you actually get very close to that inner voice because you have nowhere else to turn but inside. Another thing that came out of being broken, you feel like you are guided. Externally, people might have all the opinions in the world, which is absolutely fine. Humans have opinions. You know that you've never felt better in your entire life. For me personally, I was just floating my whole life before this era of being broken. I was literally just floating and I was perceived as doing well simply because I was tangibly doing things that were looked at in a positive lens from society because it was on the regular path. It was a conventional path that was following the crowd, right? Now I feel like I'm more clear up here and I'm still on the journey to figuring out what's going to make me full. <laughs> and again, there's no destination. I have to make it clear to myself too constantly, but this whole thing called life is a journey. There's no destination. I am actually a believer that even when you die, it's not the end. This is a tiny little pit stop on our soul's journey so we're probably just gonna go explore other energies and if we're lucky we'll be able to manifest ourselves on another type of humanity that lives on another celestial planet i don't know being lost is great being lost and broken leads you to the light at the end of the tunnel you start to rebuild yourself the way you want to rebuild yourself. You have to break away from limiting beliefs in order to make yourself whole again. Bits and parts of me are on their way to becoming whole. And if you are also someone who's feeling the same way, having an existential crisis every single day, questioning our existence, well, don't you worry, you're on the right path. Aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoy content like this, please give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video.